Hello Rockwood School District community. Welcome to the fourth installment of this video series designed to address some of the issues and questions that have arisen due to the temporary closure of our schools as a result of COVID-19. As you know, we have been considering what end of the year traditions and celebrations will look like in light of social distancing guidelines. One crucial question on our minds has been graduation and we remain determined to hold graduation ceremonies for the class of 2020. To preserve graduation ceremonies for each of our high schools in Rockwood, we are moving those ceremonies from Chaffetz Arena in mid-May to the Powerplex, formerly known as the St. Louis Mills Mall in Hazelwood in early June. The new dates and location of our four graduations are on your screen, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th at 7 p.m. More details about the graduation ceremonies will be provided early next week. This innovative approach, endorsed by the St. Louis County Department of Public Health, provides proper social distancing and an actual graduation ceremony for our graduates and their families. Families and friends will be able to observe the ceremony on large screens from the comfort of their vehicles, similar to a drive-in theater. During the graduation ceremony, students will walk across the stage to accept a diploma while observing social distancing guidelines. Rockwood is pleased to be one of the first school districts participating. This eliminates the risk of postponing indoor graduation ceremonies until June or July and then not being able to hold them at all. It promises to be a unique and memorable celebration of the class of 2020. We're moving the annual Rose Awards Banquet, already postponed to Sunday, June 7th, further back on the calendar to Sunday, September 13th. The images you are seeing now are of our Rose Award recipients when the Surprise Patrol showed up to honor them in our schools on March 4th. This is an important event honoring district staff and community members. The entire heartwarming Rose Award Surprise Patrol video can be found on our district website and social media platforms. As a reminder, to celebrate the class of 2020 on their original graduation dates, May 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, each high school will be hosting a Senior Salute Parade. Each school will host a drive through parade for staff and students to celebrate our graduates. Details will be provided by individual high schools. In last week's video installment, I mentioned a number of transition teams we have formed to guide our planning efforts. We have also added a transition team for community education. These transition teams are actively collaborating with district staff members and local and regional health officials and identifying best practices to answer a number of questions, such as, what health screening procedures will be in place to support the health of students and staff? What regular routines will be in place, such as sanitation and hand washing? What personal protective equipment will be needed for our students and staff? What guidelines will be in place for school bus transportation? What will food service look like in our schools? What social and emotional support will be needed for students and staff upon return to the regular school environment? If we are unable to return to our schools, how will the structure of remote learning be the same or different? These are simply a few of the many questions with which we are confronted. Again, our hope is to return to provide educational services in our school classrooms in the fall. While this remains our primary goal, as we shared with you last week, we will also be preparing contingency plans for continued remote learning. Without doubt, these decisions are difficult and challenging. In this rapidly changing environment, we are also faced with opposing perspectives about the right decision, the proper approach to be taken, or the timing of decisions. The evolution of events surrounding the spread of COVID-19 and the impact upon our community can cause much frustration. I, too, share your frustration with COVID-19 and its impact upon our community and beyond. And we remain determined and committed to exploring best practices, collaborating with healthcare professionals, and analyzing the best available information to make decisions to protect and support our children, our staff members, our parents, and our community. Until next week, be safe and be healthy. Thank you.